this is Craig Marker. Today we're going to be talking about applying Verkoshansky depth jumps or shock jumps to the push-up. So with Verkoshansky depth jumps, we drop off of a box, we land, absorb a little energy, but immediately jump back up. This trains the neurons and muscles to be very explosive. So we, that helps build explosive power in the lower body. With the push-ups, we can do the same thing. We can drop from a platform, catch ourselves before we face plant onto the floor, and then immediately jump back up or push ourselves back up. So again, this is gonna build explosive power in the upper body. Some things to think about when you do this. One, we wanna be tight in the core. When we throw a punch, we're, a lot of that comes from the core. So when we absorb this power, we wanna be tight in the core as well. Another thing, we probably don't wanna be really wide grip or something to catch ourselves, just like we don't want bad squat form if we're gonna to try to catch ourselves off of a depth jump. So for me, and probably for most people, probably something close is good. We're also gonna think about rotating the elbow, so internally rotating the elbow, and what this does, it brings the shoulder blade back and down. Don't really worry about hands as much as rotating the elbow and bringing your shoulder blades back and down. So having good push-up form is gonna be vital for this exercise. So I'm gonna start on this platform. Another way to do this is to do a push-up, explode up, uh, give yourself a little air, a jumping push-up, and then drop about halfway so you can absorb and push up again. So that might be a little safer alternative to dropping off the boxes for the first time. So let me demonstrate a few of these. So I'm gonna get up on this platform a little wider than my normal grip. I'm gonna drop, catch myself, and then explode back up. And that's one. We'll do it again. And explode back up. So again, this is going to bring explosive power to your upper body.